Hi guys, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar, and uh, the next uh, continue video. This is the previous video. Uh, we discuss uh, how to create relationship in between tables by using primary key, foreign key without using cascade rules. Okay, and now in this session, uh, that session I will continue in this video. Okay, so now we are going to applying cascade rules. Okay, along with your primary key, foreign key then what it is happened and previous video session what kind of the three problems we faced there okay in those problems how we can go to overcome okay so now in last video session what we done can you check out i just have this uh, statement making relationship in between tables by using primary key and foreign key constraints with cascade rules i said but in that first time showing uh, okay in the last video we said and we checked out without cascade rules suppose i was created my relationship then we are finding the three relations or uh, three rules we are finding in the relationship okay one is insertion rule updation rule deletion rule yes or no and and the same thing okay same thing we done already so these are the three testing rules we discuss okay so the last video session okay it will be continue here so now insertion what we discuss in insertion when user try to inserting unreference value this is called unreference value this unreference value whenever the user is inserting into child table then the record is not allowed by server the record is not allowed okay why why it is not allowed means simple reason is there the reason is what now this 40th number is not having or not existing in my parent table p1 is not existing in my parent table p1 so that is the problem it is not accepted okay and this rule this rule we can't change remember this rule we can't change in our database because this is the perfect rule and fixed rule we can't change it and there is no any alternative choice to change this rule why because the reason also there parent table if it doesn't have it if child is accepted then the, there is no meaning of relation actually my point understand now suppose you have a doubt so if i want to accept this in child table means what now so parent doesn't have it that value child is accepted means then where is relation if there is no relation in between primary key and foreign key in between parent and the child okay so that's why this rule is called a fixed rule we can't change but we have a two more rules are there na two more rules are there what is now updation and deletions are there so now is there any chances to change my second updation and third deletion rules or not that is very important to know that yes so for changing of updation changing of deletion or performing updation and deletion operations on the parent table along with the child okay along with the child table reference column data if you want to affect then yes we have a some rules here so that means in this three first one i can say this is this rule is fixed this rule is fixed once the value is not there in parent child will not be accepted that is a rule of relation okay now second and third one i want to change then how to change the second and third how to update my parent table data and how to delete my parent table data whenever i required okay so at this moment to change this rules initially not allowed but now i want to accept this update and delete operations on parent so for this purpose we need to follow some rules here that is what i am showing in second one with cascade rules with cascade rules so the second mechanism we will see with cascade rules this is what okay now so what we are going to do in this session see now with the cascade rule so whenever you want it so the note is very important note point is there here this cascade rules where i can go to apply means observe when we want when we want to update and delete delete or we want to perform simple i can say we want to 
we want to perform we want to perform perform update and delete operations update delete operations operations on on parent table reference column reference reference column column and and also the child table and also child table reference column data and also so what i'm saying here when we want to perform update and delete operation on parent table reference column along with or else along with or and also child table reference column reference column reference column okay then i can use what now cascade rules along with okay so now here the point i will say here otherwise i will take like this here along with with child table reference column reference column then there we can use what now cascade so here two types of cascades are there for updation and deletion what is that first one on update cascade on update cascade and second one we called as a on delete cascade on delete cascade okay so now what is mean of on update cascade and what is the mean of on delete cascade so now i just come back here on update cascade if this key or this class or this cascade rule when i am going to apply on a child table in my relationship what is happening here this rule i am going to using this rule this rule okay will use this rule will use when i want to use whenever okay whenever whenever we want to update we want to we want to to update okay we want to update update the data the data in parent table in parent in parent table okay update the data in parent table along with along with child table along with child table child table then we can use on update cascade okay so what i am going to asking here on update is going to use it for this rule will use this rule will use whenever we want to update the data in parent table along with child table there i can use a on update cascade that is the rule importance same to same same to same i am saying here so same to same i am going to saying here on delete cascade this class and this rule where i want to apply means when i want to apply means same reason whenever this rule will be used whenever we want to delete delete the data from parent table the data from parent table along with the child table along with child table there i can use my on delete cascades okay so this is the two rules i am going to apply on my relationship when i want to perform update and delete operation on the parent table but very important note point is what now again this above two rules whatever it was there the above two rules whatever it was there these two rules i am going to apply i am going to apply or else i can say impose i can go to apply or impose on child table only okay these rules are that means what i am telling here on update or other i can say cascade rules are rules are are imposing imposing cascade rules are imposing on child table on child table and child table where it is that to that to that to what now foreign that to foreign key column only that to where now foreign key column only so this is very important point before you want to apply this cascade rules this point should be remembered what is my point here this two rules are the cascade on update cascade on delete cascade this this cascade rules the above cascade rules 
are imposing on child table that to foreign key column only. But other than foreign key column, you cannot use this rules in any other column in child table is impossible. It is only for foreign key column only supported. Okay. So, now it was okay. This is the points about your the cascade rules when you want to apply these points sir must and should be remembered. So, now I will see okay we will see now one example of how these cascade rules I want to apply on my relationship later what it is happen you can see. Now, I just come back. So, come back to my relation the my example what we done in the previous session ok. So, the same example I have already have it here ok. So, this examples I just modify here that is it. My parent table previous video session in previous example I was taken P1, but now I am taking P2. Another parent table I am creating P2. Same EID integer primary key, E name, varicare, salary everything is same as it is definition and as it is columns I am taking just I am changing your table name. So, why I am changing table name? Because you know that it within the same database, within the same database the two or more than two tables names should not be same, yes or no? So, that means every table name is a unique. So, that is why I am changing my table name P2, that is over. So, same I am go to execute this one, I selected this entire query to execute. Yes, it was executed, fine. Later, same step number 2, whatever the values I inserted in the previous example, same values I am inserting into in this example in my P2 table again. So, again I just go for this and to execute and now and see what is happened. The P2, yes, P2 is also accepted. Then I am going to creating my child table. So, your right, child table relation also same. So, in place of C1, what I want to take here C2, I am taking here. Again mobile number, big int, address, varicar, E, ID, int, foreign key, foreign key, references from. Now, I am taking reference from where now? Parent 2 now. Parent 2 of which column same EID column, but up to now if I want to make a relationship again same problems are coming out. What is the problems here? We cannot update and we cannot uh, delete, yes or no? So, again the same problems will come out, but this time to why I am going to creating again means I want to overcome to updation and uh, deletion rules, sir. yes or no? So, that is what I want to do now. In this what I want to do if I want to update my parent and child and delete my parent and child then I need to apply cascade rules. So, now what I am going to do my cascade rules there. So, I will be apply. First one is what now? On update cascade. Second one is what now? On delete cascade. On delete cascade. So, what I did in this, I am not doing any other thing. The same thing I just follow, but additionally, additionally, what I did here, I did only to adding my cascade tools. Okay. But these cascade rules is not like that at a time I want to apply this to. As per your requirement, you can apply any one. Suppose you want to update, but you do not want to delete. Then you can apply on update cascade. Suppose you want to delete, but you do not want to up update. Then you can apply on delete cascade. So, that means that is your situation based on the requirement. You can use any one cascade. Suppose you wanted both updation and deletion, both you want it now. Then you have to use this both in this query like what I am using here. Okay. So, along with this two things I am going to execute and now and now see what is happened here. I am going to execute. Again what has happened? Command is success. Okay. My child table is command or child table is also successfully created. And whatever the records I inserted in the previous session or previous example, same to same I am going to take here. So, but here my table may change now? Yes. So, child C2, C2. C2 and now this one is also C2. That is fine. So, now same as it is I am inserting now. First record I am going to insert here. Yes, my first record is accepted successfully. Next I insert the second record. Yes, second record is also accepted. Okay, fine. And the third record, third record is also accepted. There is nothing problem. And fourth record, the fourth record is also accepted. There is nothing problem in this because of you know that. So, 10, 20, 30 these values are already existing in my parent table. So, that is why as usual it was accepted, but when come to. So, now I will be final, finally, I am going to take here my two tables I am going to take now. What is now? Select a star from parent to and select a star from child to and to execute this one and see I am going to execute it. So, whatever as of now we done that was achieved, that was achieved. So, what is that? Okay. So, in parent table we inserted 10, 20, 30, in child table also we inserted what now? 
10, 20, 30. Okay, fine. As of now, the same up to now, same as it is, it was happened. Okay. But what is the differences here in this case when I am adding on delete cascade and on update cascade means now yes, there is a, some differences there. There is some differences there. What is the difference here? What is the difference here means the difference is there in come to your rules. What is the come here? So, I want to go for my testing my rules now. Okay. So, in this, in this what I said here insertion rule is a fixed rule. This rule I cannot change. Okay. This rule is I cannot change. But I can change updation and deletions. Okay. So, this is fixed rule. That is why I am giving in last session also I given here. It is a fixed rule. Okay. This you cannot. So, let us try. This rule is fixed or not. Now, again after adding my cascade also I am going to trying here. Then what is happen? C2. Yes, C2. C2 and now again same thing I am going to inserting into my child table and see what is happening here. Now what is happening? Yes, same. So that means it is not accepted. Not accepted means what? It is a fixed rule. Why it is called a fixed rule? Because of the reason is what now? The 40 number is not there in my parent table. 40 number is not there in my parent table. So it is not accepted. Okay. So now, yes, this rule is fixed and this value is not there in the parent table. So that child is also not accepted. Okay, fine. This rule is satisfied. Now come back to, come back my updation rule now. So you come to updation rule, what do you want to do here? Just let, let us see now, I am going to change here. So I am going to change P2 parent 2. Okay. So now same thing, update P2, set EID is equals to 1, where EID is equals to 10. So, now if you come to these two tables, I am going to calling these two tables. Now, we can see this. What is happening? You can see the 40 number is not accepted into child table. That is okay. But here, updation I am going to do now. Okay. Previously, the same operation when I did on my parent table, it is not uh, accepted. It was giving some compilation error. Okay. But this time, what is happening? You can see. So, I have a 10 here. Okay. I have a 10 here. But the same 10, the whatever the 10 was there in the parent table, the same 10 value number is there in my child table. How many times repeated in my child table here? Two times is repeated. Okay. So, now what I am going to do? Suppose if you want to update your parent table data in reference column of parent, then that associated data, whatever it is there in the child table, that data is also update. That is actually rule here. So, now whether this rule is happened or not happened, I want to check. So, previously it is not allowed, but this time I am going to execute it. What is happening? You can see now, I am going to execute it here. Yes, one row is affected. So, that means what do you understand here? My updation was successfully happened. Now, updation is happened, but come back to check your parent and child. Now, we can see that the advantage of on update cascade is what? Check out. So, now EID, one is updated or not? Yes. And same associated data, whatever it was there in the child table, the child table data is also updated. This is the advantage of on update cascade. Okay. The second rule. Second rule also I am going to check in now. What is my second rule here? Yes, deletion rule is there. So, deletion rule is also same P2 where EID is equal to 30. But you can see 30 is still there in my parent table. Yes or no? 30 is there in my parent table. And same associated data is also having into my child table also. Okay. Let us see now. Suppose if you deleted the data from parent table, that associated data, whatever it is there in the child table, that is also deleted or not, I want to check now. So now, let us see now once we check out once we check out. So, yes, it is what happened. I am going to execute this deletion and to execute. Yes, this time I am not getting any compilation error. I am getting successful message. One row is affected and come back here. Once come back here, then check here the data is deleted or not. Yes, now you can check your output. So, 30 is deleted from parent table and also child table also. Okay. So, this is what we called a on update cascade, on delete cascade. So, finally, what I want to say in my testing part in this example, this is this time, can I say not allowed or allowed? Yes, it is allowed. And this is also allowed on my parent tables. Okay. So, but this is we cannot change it. Okay. This is we cannot change it because this is as the rule of parent and child. Okay. So, these are the, the advantages and uses of your cascade rules. So, that means finally, what do you understand here? Okay. Without cascade, 
without cascade if you want to create a relationship in between the two tables by using primary key and foreign key without cascade then what is happen we can't update we can't delete on parent table operations same to same the same cascade rules once i applied cascade rules on the relationship in between the tables then what is happen here we can update we can delete parent table along with the child also so this is the cascade rules advantages why should we want to apply on relationship are you understand now yes thank you thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.